One man's trash is another man's treasure, but if one of those men is a chronic hoarder, the neighbours are in a world of pain. Emmanuel's neighbours are crying out for help. Are you here for, because of Sir, a complaint? Many complaints. Emmanuel knew it was only a matter of time before ACA came knocking. Emmanuel, we've had a number of complaints from people up and down the street. We've been in the car, we've just got out of our car. We've been here 10 seconds and three neighbours have approached us. A beautiful Californian bungalow is buried in a tip in McLaren Street. Old cars are scattered around the road, littered with rubbish, and Emmanuel, assisted by his two sidekicks, keeps bringing it in. These lovely gentlemen sell the stuff to him. No, we don't. No, we don't. Do they? Yes, you do. No, they sell the stuff to him. A friend who doesn't live in the street is trying to help. We were discussing, weren't we, Emmanuel, discussing getting rid of it? It has been going on for quite some time, though. I know. And he has tried to clean it up before, but it all comes back again. Yeah, that's, the, that's part of the addiction. So, and, for the residents who have contacted I don't, us... I, don't, I understand how they feel, because that's not a nice thing for them to see, and that yeah. people's property values, and, the, and, that, and also health risks. You don't even know what you're talking yeah. about, Brady. But there's, there's... You don't know what you're talking about. You happy with everything across no. the road? No. You're not? Yeah. No. Maria, you're not happy? No. You... Full rubbish. And you've got to look at it? Yes. You're close. Seven day, I've got a big fight to put in. Just when I asked you twice, you said, I own no, the road. just a minute. What I say, I say, move the van because it's full of rubbish. I and don't want the rubbish on the front of me. And you park it out the front of their house all the time. It's not rubbish. And, well, it's Coca-Cola bottles and boxes and some old rags. It's got a bit of rubbish in it. So what? Who gives a f Brady? <laughs> Who cares? And that's and that's over there. That's got rubbish in it too. Who cares? Well, the neighbours certainly do. We have snakes. Really? Yep, yep, yep. But we are. Uh, and but you've got uh, children, so that's yeah, a worry. Yep. That's a worry, isn't it? Yeah. They've had a gutful and contacted us in desperation. Well, I've been here for three years, and um, it's, it's been, been, all been that since time. I've been here. It is front and back, sides and interior, and don't dare say it's rubbish. But Manuel, you did say there's no rubbish there, and I've got to beg to differ. I'm sorry, mate. Neighbours have told us they fear the area will go up in flames. Vermin roam surrounding homes, and the noise of rubbish being delivered and moved is constant. I hate it. You hate it? I hate it. He got uh, asked to clean it up. I think he was fined. Now he's come back with an absolute and utter vengeance. The neighbours also allege some of it is being stored and sold for markets as a business. But much of it is just rubbish, collected by an obsessive man whose issues are affecting the mental health of all who surround him. I don't know who can help us. Gail means well, but is fighting a losing cause. Instead of spending all your energy accumulating, that you spend well, your energy getting rid of it. And that's what we are discussing just before you came. You speak wisely. I hope those words can be put into action because the neighbours don't have much hope, much faith. Yeah, I understand where they're coming from. I wouldn't like you as a neighbour. Well, I certainly wouldn't you like you as a neighbour, Emmanuel. I you can tell you that, that right now. If that's the front yard, heaven help the inside and the backyard. Because I think it'd be worse. Neighbours say they're tired of hearing this line. I'm moving it, if you want to know. So this was only collected in the last two weeks. And I'm moving it. Which okay. part of moving it don't you okay. understand? Emmanuel is fortunate he has the odd understanding neighbour. I don't like it because it's a bit too much. It is a bit you too know, much. But... I never complain, no, really. No. I never, never complain. Why is that? Because I don't like to complain with okay. the neighbour. That's yeah, how I am. You're a good am. person. You've got a lot That's of patience. That's how I am. This isn't the first time Gail has tried to help him clean up. So these are going in the recycle? Yeah, I'll get all the books in the recycle. OK. Hey, hang on for a second. No, they're wet and they're oh, no good. Oh, I've got a funny feeling they're going to be out of that bin in about an hour. Will you stop throwing my freaking books out? Are you, are you OK? Emmanuel, they're wet. 
They're no good now. They'll Stop have it. Oh, look, we're well, on home improvements. It's hard for a hoarder to give it up. Stop it, will you? Will you stop? Emmanuel, I get Can you get out? Yeah. Can I... you get out? Get out. The rain pauses the clean-up. Thank you, you very much. There you that. go. Thank That's you. Terrific. Right. I knew there'd be one in there, Emmanuel. Was that an umbrella? An umbrella. <laughs> You're right. And after copping so much abuse from Emmanuel... Oh, that's a that's naughty books. Chuck those. And you were the one that called me the little naughty boy. <laughs> <laughs> a moment of smiles in what is a tragedy for all. I don't think council can help much. Well, they say they've tried. George's River Council in Sydney South have told us that they've taken Emmanuel to court three times to force him to clean up the mess. And they're in the process of doing it for a fourth occasion. And every time he cleans it up, cops a big fine, and residents say soon after, it all comes back. What can we do? Mm. There's nothing we can do. But something has to be done. There I is no smell. smell. You're making up stories. I, don't. Oh, I can yeah. smell. What yeah. can you smell? You tell me. Doesn't smell good. That's because this guy here keeps all his dogs and their shit there. Are you complaining about your neighbour? I hope he can fix it. <laughs> to make your life better. I hope so. George's River Council is in the final stages of preparing evidence for the next court action against Emmanuel. The full statement is on our homepage.